Just make sure we tell Dow, just get the money, sell it. Alan, get Alex on the phone. Yeah, I'm doing this interview thing for TLC. Get some uh, Bitcoin and Dogecoin in, on uh, eBay and then pop it back into the Roth. And then we're going to be good to go for the next couple quarters. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Business and I am all about routine. There is not one part of my life that is not perfectly calculated and routined out. So in the morning, I get up at 5.45 a.m. put on deodorant exactly at 5.48 and 30 seconds. I wear the same shirt every day. I usually get done in about 16 seconds for my t-shirt. I actually just keep my pants on all night because it saves me time in the morning. It's a clip on, saves me lots of time. Um, and Stacy's calling. Hey, Stacy, yeah, I'm going to be getting to the big building in about 40 minutes. Let's tell a big banking company to take the money and just uh, buy the bank, okay? I think his routine has affected him in almost every aspect of his life. I mean, when we were younger, he always gets dressed for bedtime at 8 p.m. And, and sometimes we want to hang out, you know, jump on the trampoline late at night or something. And, and he would always be dressed for bedtime. Uh, and he sleeps naked. So. It was a lot of little bouncing balls. All right, so at about 6.15, I make sure to get all my breakfast ready and set. Looks good. Dump it right in. Little spillage there, but that's fine. Stacy, hey, hon. How you doing? How are the kids? Yeah, just tell Billy that he's going to have to finish first grade early. Okay, yep. Uh, Claire, I'm back. Yeah, I had to talk to my kid. He's been uh, flunking out of school. When he comes up with his schedule, there's no telling him any different. There's even this one time at Disney World, he doesn't understand that people have to wait in lines. And we try to tell him, business, business. He would just lose it. Full on temper tantrum. He kicked Donald Duck's dick, which doesn't even make any sense because ducks don't have dicks. They have cloacas. All right, I'm clean and I'm mean and I am a, and I am a machine that works. This is a breakfast of champions. I'm always first place, never second place. <coughs> Alex, hey buddy. I don't care if the stocks are bad. They're up and down. Just call NASDAQ or text him if he's not answering. Let him know that the insurance is going to be IRA, not Roth, uh, fixed. What time is it? 8.30. Perfect. And I'm right on time. I'm Brandon Buckingham. I used to be Mr. Business's roommate. He's so stuck on routine, you put a coconut where the apple used to be, he's breaking his teeth. I switched the toilet paper with the plunger, he's plunging his ass and clogging the toilet. His girlfriend broke up with him because I put condoms in his sock drawer and socks in his condom drawer. So he's walking around with a sock on his dick and condoms on his feet. People are always telling me all the time, Mr. Business, you need to fly by the crease of your pants. Be in the moment. And to be honest, I don't want to be. I'm going to get up at the same time every day. On the second, if I don't, if I sleep in, why be alive? Yeah, there are times where where I'm off and when I'm off I just you know basically realize I'd rather off myself and I've tried at 9 a.m. before I go to work I always like to watch a little bit of the news just to see if the deficits are defecating everything's perfect and making sure the Roth RIAs are all um, eras because it is a pyramid scheme flip it on its head the sugar is gonna be at the tip and that's showing us that the sugar, the money in sugar is gonna be going up this year. Uh, 2021 is the is the year of sugar. Yeah, a lot of people don't have the heart to say it to his face, but when it comes to stocks, he's just saying business words. The guy's in like $100,000 of debt, and all he says all day is to the moon, GME, AMC. You're hired, and you need to make sure that you get all the money in the bank before the end of the day, or you're fired. I don't care how many kids you have, okay? I'm gonna put a few to death if you don't do what I say. Sorry guys. Mr. Business goes to the bathroom at exactly 12 p.m. every day. If I'm in there sitting on the toilet, he will literally sit on my lap and take a shit on my crotch. Once I parked in his spot, he rear-ended my car. It's like the guy times his exhales. He tries to give me the appointment and tell me when we're gonna meet. He tries to tell me when I'm gonna speak. He tries to control the birds outside. And it really upsets the homeless guy out front who we call Pigeon Man. And last time Pigeon Man got upset, a lot of birds just got hurt. He doesn't actually know about business. He's going bankrupt. His home is actively being repossessed. Oh, yeah, that's everything. Too bad we had to repossess all this guy's stuff. Yeah, I've never been on camera before, but uh, I had to go to this guy's house and uh, repossess his stuff, you know. Uh, it's too bad, but they said he wouldn't even notice, so, uh, you know. How do I sound? Sound fine. Okay, cool. Alexis, I know you think it's bad and we should just sell the bank, but honestly, I think that's a bad, bad thing to do right now. Ow. Oh. Ah, my couch is so hard lately. What's up with the remote? The batteries are messed up. Is there batteries in here? I'm not getting any signal on my TV. Hold on, sorry, Alexis. Uh, Trans me in with Kenneth. Something's wrong with my TV here. Sell the money. Yes, sell it. Perfect. We have to sell today because GameStop is not going to be stocked long. AMC is going to be under. Just got to find my laptop. One second. This glass is not filling. I just got to make a quick spaghetti. Get back out on the market. Oh, 
shit! Just spilled on my food! Oh, I just need to settle down. Oh, I go to sleep. I have three hours and 47 minutes and 30 seconds to sleep. One, two, three. The alarm clock's already going off. Damn it. Make this bed. Put on my other outfit here. Looking good. Woo. My ass looks fat in these pants. No time, no time. Let's sell, let's sell, let's go. <laughs> sell the money. I don't really like him. It gets me sexuals. I get fucked up. I love it. And, and I can do what I want and wish and please because I make so much money. It's like I make Bezos look like a little piece, piece of little tiny little piece of shit. Sometimes I plop a Molly in his gummy worms, watch him roll face for hours. Oh yeah, we love doing that, don't we? <laughs> what? I'm talking Google. I'm talking Tide Pods. He tells me halfway through every visit that there's going to be a gas release. Um, uh. Did you guys meet on this shoot? Yeah, we did actually. We just met five minutes ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it's been almost ten now. Mr. Business would know exactly how long it's been, though. I'm talking TikTok. I warm up a small hot pocket, and I was just waiting for my uh, wife to to come around with the PT cruiser to pick me up. 